Hello everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment. You guys, I have Amazon packages on both sides of me that we are gonna open together. Um, I'm not 100% sure what's in all of them, so let's start with the obvious one. I have got a box of Quest brand protein chips. I have talked about these a few times now. If you guys are new to my channel, hi and welcome. Um, these I found because I had bariatric surgery about three months ago and I'm supposed to eat a high protein diet. I am, uh, I try to eat a vegetarian vegan diet as much as possible. I say vegetarian vegan because there are some things that I still eat that do not fit in with the vegan category. Um, I try to eat as close to vegan as possible, but occasionally I do have things like cheese or sour cream um, or, you know, that kind of thing. So can't call myself a full vegan, but these have been amazing. These have between um, 18 and 20 grams of protein per bag. They are like a Dorito style chip. This is the flavor ranch. I am not a ranch person, but I tried a bag of the ranch and they're really good. I also enjoy the nacho flavor and the loaded taco flavor. They also have a, um, I think one or two other flavors and they're kind of spicy and I didn't like them as much, but they're really good. This, you get eight um, packages in a box from Amazon. Uh, it's just a better deal for me, honestly. You can get them in the stores. They're usually pretty expensive. So if you are gonna look for them, like I said, I'm in Canada. Um, so Amazon or Walmart seems to be the best price on the Quest protein chips. But the ranch flavor has 19 grams of protein per bag. And um, even though I'm trying not to eat that many snacks and treats and stuff, you know, occasionally you just want something. Like if you're watching a movie or something like that, you know, I, I'm a chip person, I like chips. So I'd much rather have a protein chip where I'm getting 19 grams of protein than, you know, a bag of Old Dutch where I'm not getting really any nutritional value besides calories. So yay, that's the first one. This is the next one. I honestly am not 100% sure what's in these. I honestly don't know. Let's see. What's in here? Um, oh, okay. Oh, um, so my husband ordered this. This is um, for the Ring doorbell. We have a Ring security camera. Uh, this is just the faceplate. This is the holiday faceplate. Uh, I hate to say it, but we're kind of halfway through summer here, Ooh, which means winter's coming soon, right? <clears throat> and Ring, you can buy, look how cute this is, you guys. It's a little faceplate that you can change. It's a little Christmassy, wintry scene. It's really cute. I like it. So my husband obviously bought that or it was in the cart and when he ordered things, didn't realize it. And, um, you know, here it is. Um, that happens. So that's nice. Just stick that back in the bag here. So yay. I also got sesame snaps. Sesame Snaps. I love these. They're a great little treat. These are mini Sesame Snacks. Um, 15 packages and they're just tiny. Like, I don't know if you can see. I don't want to open them right now, but they're like, they're tiny. They're like half the size of a, of a regular, you know, Sesame Snaps are about this big. It's like half the size. So cute. They're just a good little sweet snack when you're kind of craving something sweet, you know. Um, they're gluten free, which is nice. You get 15 packages in here. Um, let's see. So yeah, there's six grams of protein, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, these ones are um, vegan. I know some, I don't know which brand, but some of them use honey. These ones don't have honey in them. Um, they are a just sugar, glucose syrup, and sesame seeds. Um, so these ones are nice and good for me to have. So those, I don't know, I think I was on Amazon when I was hungry. So I ordered some food, you know. <laughs> okay, next bag here. This one feels weird. I have a feeling it's going to be cords. So let's see. Is it cords? That's what it feels like to me. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, there's a couple things here. Okay. Yay. Oh, interesting. 
So I ordered um, more of the Epoch Soul Solution. It looks like they've changed their packaging, you guys, because um, the picture on Amazon was the same picture as the old bottle I got, but this is a brand new bottle. It's still the same stuff though, Epoch Soul Solution. This stuff is amazing for feet. I did a videos on it. My feet were horrible, you guys, horrible. I used this stuff and honestly, within like one day of use, you could visibly see a difference in my feet. This stuff is great. Um, it is a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, like this bottle's not that big. It's only 125 mils or four ounces, and I wanna say it's like 35, $39, something like that, but it works and it is really good. So I got another one of those because I was out. <gasps> this is exciting, we're gonna have to do a taste test. Um, this is, some, again, I just went on Amazon. Obviously, I was hungry, you guys. I went on Amazon, and I was looking at vegan food, and I came across these. I don't know if they're going to be any good. It's called Millionaire Crunch. It's a hazelnut caramel. It says it's new, and it's from a company called Oatein. So, obviously made with oats. It says it's low sugar, 15 grams of protein. Um, it does say vegetarian society on it, so they might not be full vegan. I'll check here in a second. It's palm oil free. It says it tastes delicious. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. Um, let's have a peek here. So one bar is 58 grams. Um, this is in a different language. This is like an... Arabic or something. I don't know what it is. Um, okay, so yeah, these definitely are not vegan. I'm pretty sure it said they were, but it's not. There is milk powder in these. That's the first thing I see. Um, so they're not vegan. But you got like, like, can you see like that? That's Arabic, right? Or something? I'm not even 100% sure. I mean, yeah, there's English on here too, but it's, it's weird. It's weird. It says energy, which would be calories. I don't know how to read this. I'm going to say it's 243 calories a bar, 13 grams of fat, which is high. Um, 26 grams of carbs, which is high. Not much fiber. 15 grams of protein, though. So at least the protein's good. Ooh, there's a warning from the UK on it that says excessive consumption may cause laxative effects. That's a good thing to know. Okay. I'm just going to open this up and we're going to look at it. I'm curious. I'm curious. Give me a second. I'm curious. It's just they look good. And I was hungry. So... I don't know. They look good. I don't know. They might not be. I don't know. We'll see. The box did come crunched. You can see it's even ripped here, but it, it's a crunched box. Oh, they smell good? I don't know. Okay. So this is what they look like. They feel very hard. Very hard. Very hard. Hazelnut caramel, 15 grams. High protein hazelnut caramel flavor, millionaire's shortcake slice with milk chocolate and caramel layers with sweeteners is what it says. So it's definitely not good for you. Um, but again, if I'm going to eat junk food anyway, I'd rather have it high in protein, right? So how many are in here? 53, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12. There's 12 in a box. I have no idea how much I paid for these. I think they were 40 bucks. Does that sound right? I think they were. I want to say they were $40 for the 12. Don't quote me on that, but I think they were. Anyway, um, we'll do a taste test with these with Matthew and uh, we'll see what we think of them. So moving on. This I know what it is. 
back to school time is around the corner, friends, for those of you with children. Yay! Um, my daughter, you know, we were out shopping, which we don't do that often together, and because she's not a shopper. And they're starting to get, all the stores are getting their school stuff in, right? So, um, of course, right away she was like, I want a brand new backpack and lunch kit for school. And I was like, you know what? I will definitely get you a new backpack because her backpack she had, she used it the last two years and one of the zippers is broken. It's a double zipper though, so it still works. But I was like, you know what? That's fine. We'll get you another backpack. I'm okay with that. I know, you know, you got to have something fun and new when you go back to school, right? You just, I don't know, you feel good. Anyway, um, I didn't want to get her a new lunch kit because she has some really good 31 lunch kits and they're really good and I like them, but she found a unicorn one. She's all into unicorns and pink and it was only $8 at Winners. So I was like, that's fine. We'll buy you that. Um, I have 31 ones to, you know, rely on if for some reason this one doesn't work out or whatever. But we went on Amazon and I got her to pick a backpack because we looked in the stores at all the backpacks and she's going in grade two, but they have so much stuff like she needs a backpack big enough because the school she goes to, she has to take like in the winter snow pants and she needs to have an extra sweater. And if it's rainy, she needs splash pants. And then she needs to have room for her lunch kits. Then she needs room for any school work, right? So I like the, um, I don't know how to describe it, the double pocket backpacks, you know, where it's not just one big opening there's actually two so I can put all of her winter stuff like in the back one and then the front ones for a lunch kit and stuff anyway long story short this is double wrap so we're going to open it um we couldn't find any in the store that were like that either they were really small um or they were just a single and we went on Amazon and she wanted pink because she's all about pink so I found one Wow, this is wrapped well. I found one on Amazon that she liked. And I was like, you know what? Let's just order it, right? Let's see what it's like. So this is what it is. So this is, you guys, this is like triple wrapped. Like, holy cow. Okay. It's triple wrapped. Okay. So this is the one she chose. So it's pink, but it's got a little bit of blue and stuff in there. And I'm showing it to you upside down. So this is what it looks like. Let's open it up and see. I hope this is going to work. Okay. Okay. Uh, I was hoping, I was hoping it would have a, a chest buckle, you know, so she could like, but it doesn't. So that's kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, it is like the straps, they're nice. They have breathable mesh on this side. They are a heavy duty strap. It has this little handle, which I like. It has the mesh pocket on the side, which is great because her new lunch kit doesn't have a mesh pocket on the side for me to put her water bottle. So I'll have to stick it here in the backpack every day. So that's nice. Um, oh, it's actually got on both sides mesh pockets. So that's a bonus. It has a little front zipper, which is actually pretty roomy. So that's nice. It's got this one up here too, which is also nice. Oh, it goes all the way down, you guys. That's nice. It goes all the way down in the front. I like that. Okay, that's cool. And it is a double zipper. So we've got this part here that opens. Okay, so she's got this spot, which I think is more of like what they call a laptop opening, right? But it goes down here, which is nice. Like it's not, it's not as wide as her current backpack, but I think it's still going to work. I think it's still going to work. Okay. And then it's got another zipper at the back. There we go. For the larger part, which is nice. 
so that's nice and big and then back here it has another little compartment here which is nice so this has got a lot of compartments a lot of zippers which is exactly what I needed her to have in the backpack so I think she's gonna like it I think it's gonna work and now she has a new backpack and um, yeah I think I think she'll like it and I think it'll be good so yay so finally that's great so uh, one thing off the school list that I need the nice thing is I don't have to buy her actual school supplies the school she goes to they supply everything um, so all she needs is backpack lunch kit which we now have check check uh, new clothes because I'm pretty sure she's outgrown all of her school clothes um, so she'll need new clothes and indoor gym running shoes which I'm hoping the pair we have upstairs will fit her um, and then she'll just need some new footwear uh, for outside because of course she outgrew those shoes as well so uh, a few things checked off the back to school list already that makes a mom happy so um, that is my Amazon haul like I said we probably will do a little taste test here with Matthew we might even do it tonight we'll see if we do we might even splice it into this video um, we'll see how it goes but that is my Amazon haul let me know what kind of stuff do you guys order on Amazon do you buy food on Amazon like I've heard a few people literally buy all their food on Amazon and I'm like I mean obviously they can't do fresh produce right but like all their packaged food and like toilet paper and paper towel like I've heard people do that like are you one of those people I'm curious because I typically never bought food on Amazon I just recently started when I was looking for the quest chips and then I bought some jerky and now it just seems like I'm kind of on a food kick like ooh, let's see what's available on Amazon right because I mean I would never I don't I don't think I would ever be able to find this here where I live in a store right maybe they're amazing maybe they're horrible I don't know we're gonna have to try it and find out um, but yeah like let me know and same with like the mini sesame snaps I've seen sesame snaps but minis mm, I don't know so I'm trying to like I said I'm on this you know weight loss journey I'm trying to find nutritional high protein low sugar foods that will curb my cravings and my sweet tooth when I want something so if you guys have any suggestions like what do you guys do when you're craving something sweet and you want something that's kind of low calorie or more healthier option what do you guys eat or what do you indulge in that's still good for you let me know same with like salty when you're craving like chips or something what do you guys do I don't know I'm trying to find stuff that works for me and like anything when you're trying out you know new food new recipes whatever some things are gonna be great some things are gonna be horrible you got to go through that learning curve right so I'm trying different things I'm trying to see what's out there I'm trying to see what I like it seems like they're bringing out a lot more products um, that are like high in protein high in fiber low in carb low in sugar there seems to be more and more of those products available and there's so many things on Amazon like I could spend hours just going through pages and pages of stuff so let me know if there's something specific you guys order on Amazon that you think I should try uh, as far as food goes um, I'm all ears so thank you guys so much for watching this quick little Amazon haul we will see you guys in the next one bye